Here in the news, Robert Paddington got COVID-19. Delusions! So, the devil all the time. Story about a young boy whose family is very, very rough. Is it good? Well, you have to find out till the end of the video, or you can just skip to the end. Do whatever you feel like. Um, I do put effort into these videos, so if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free. You can always unsubscribe. Alright, so let's get right into the good of the devil all the time. Now, I think one of the best things about this film is the score, or the soundtrack, as other people say. But the score is mm, just incredible. Now, it's not the best I've heard it, like from everywhere, but I think it's the best from the year. You know, Tenant's right behind, but I think the devil all the time just has a better one. Like, right when I heard the trailer music in it, I was a bit confused. I'm like, why do they keep on doing this with movies? But then, you know, I started to listen to it more, and I just love it. I love the score so much. It's just so simple. It's like a piano. Like, it doesn't sound like that, but it's a piano. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, another very, very good thing I like about this film is the setting. The setting is incredible. Like... It's uh, kind of in the 1960s and in the 1950s. That's another thing I like, how it goes from 1960s to 50s to 60s. It just goes all over the place, and I, I quite like that. Um, it can get a little bit messy, but I quite like that. And I just love like the music they put in, um, how all the stores and the cars look so old-fashioned. Now, plenty of movies have done this, but The Devil All the Time did a really good job with that. The lighting and the trees, all that was great. So we talked about the good. Now let's go into the bad a little bit. Now, not many things, uh, not too many, right? Uh, but there is two things that I just don't really like about this film. It's a bit too driven out from the plot line. Now think about this. Like, you got Tom Holland, like you get to see him and you're like, oh, Yes, he finally came on screen, like, we haven't seen him for the hour of the, well, the first half of the film. And he finally comes in and it's like, oh great. And then you cut away for like 30 or 20 minutes long and it's these, about these other people. And I'm like, okay, where's Tom Holland? I thought this was the main character and it seems it wasn't. So I gotta say, I wasn't too invested in that plot, but I was more invested in like Tom Holland. But anyways, it all connected at the end, right? So, uh, love that. Um, but still, they could have shortened it down to like, the whole movie down to at least like, an hour and 40 minutes. That would be good. Um, and one more problem. It dragged on at like the last hour and 50 minutes, I should, or hour and 40 minutes, I don't know how long it was. It just dragged on. Like, it wasn't like Tenet. Not like that drag on, but it was still dragging on for like, okay, we get it. Is it gonna end? No, no, it keeps on going. All right, more stuff keeps on happening. All right, more people get killed. Uh, is it gonna end? No, 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 let's keep on moving. So, uh, yeah, that was a um, big um, kind of problem to me, but you know what? We can move aside that and just say the first two acts were great, just uh. It, went a little bit off, well the first act was the best half, right? <laughs> but uh, the second half was great, and the third act kind of slowed it down, so yeah, that's the one problem I have with the film. So, anyways, let's give my uh, rating on this film, because you guys don't want to watch me talking about a movie for like 15 minutes, do you? No. Alright, so my rating for this movie is going to be a solid 86 out of 100. Now that is the best score I've given over this whole year. 
because Tenant failed and didn't exceed my expectations. The Devil All the Time did exceed my expectations. It actually went over um, my expectations for this somehow. I don't know how, but yeah, Netflix films I'm not always the biggest fan of, but this one, this part. Now, should you watch this film? I think you should. <laughs> I mean, uh, if you're gonna waste your time watching The New Mutants, I don't get it. Just watch this film. It's a great film. Definitely my favorite film of the year so far. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a like. I'll see you in the next video.